bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Tony Hill. You know, our legislators are dealing with an awful lot during this session, and we're going to try and keep you up to date on all of the different pieces of legislation that are being uh, looked over. Here to talk about some that he's introducing is Tom Hucker, who is delegate from the 20th District. How are you? Great. Thanks, Tony. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, let's jump right in and talk about these, because there's some pretty interesting uh, bills that you uh, uh, are introducing. I know that uh, the governor and lieutenant governor are focusing heavily on making sure that, that they at least take a look at and try and do something for veterans. You've got right. some uh, legislation involving education as it relates to military families. I do. I actually have two veterans bills. Um, the governor's really taken a lead on a whole package of bills. I tried to identify a couple of needs that are that are still out there. Um, one is uh, there's a I think a need to extend uh, pre-K really to all the the children in the state early education. There's study after study that shows the value of educating kids and getting on top of any problems that are emerging when they're three years old, when they're four years old. Uh, there's not enough funding uh, to ex extend that to, to more working families. Uh, my bill begins by extending pre-K uh, services to military families because they're especially hard hit by parents being away for a long time sure. and traveling quite a bit. Sure, the old uh, army brat, if you will, exactly. and always moving around. It's very stressful. Uh, also, some things for the environment. Um, that's, that's a really challenging area, uh, it, trying to be environmentally friendly and especially with our bay. It is, absolutely. I've gotten a real education the last year on the Environmental Matters Committee on which I serve. Uh, and I worked as an environmental activist for years before I, I ran for office. I have a bill uh, that we had last year that I think, I'm hopeful we'll be able to pass this year, pass through the Senate last year, uh, that addresses the top source of mercury going into the bay. We're doing a lot to clean up the bay. We need to get on top of the mercury that's entering about four or five pounds a year that come from uh, electric switches that are in old cars. And when the cars get crushed and recycled, Unless you take that mercury switch out and recycle the mercury, the mercury ends up going right into uh, uh, into the, the uh, groundwater stream and into the bay. So uh, it sets up incentives to get those switches out. Any opposition about getting that out of there? Well, the car manufacturers don't like it because mm -hmm. um, they it charges them a couple uh, a few bucks for every switch that comes out that they have to pay the recyclers. But of course, they were the ones that put the switches in a consumer product to begin with. Uh, they don't do it anymore. But the longer we wait to get these out, the more of those cars. Uh, will be off the road and getting recycled the wrong way. Other states are stepping in. California classifies a whole car as toxic waste mm -hmm. until the mercury switch comes out. We should be moving in that direction. Okay. Um, I'm talking about health care for children. There's a big push to try and have universal health care or something right. close to it, and then especially for children. If I understand correctly, there is there are already funds uh, to fund some of those kids, not all. You want to start uh, with making sure that the people who are eligible get notified that they're eligible. Yeah, you know, this bill, to me, it seems so common sense when I when I thought about it. I had to check with a lot of people to figure out why we weren't already doing it, but it, it is the case. There's 90,000 children that are eligible for the Maryland Children's Health Insurance Program right now, but their parents don't apply because in most cases they don't know about it. They might be speakers of another language. They might uh, just be working family that, that aren't plugged into every state program. Mm -hmm. um, the comptroller, it seems to me, is on a lot of people's mind because we're all paying our taxes this time of year. He's the only person in the state that knows everybody's income and whether or not they have kids. My bill uh, suggests the comptroller should send out a notice to the families that would be eligible once you know their, their, whether they have kids and, and uh, their income, uh, just to inform them that they're eligible and send them an application form so that the parents uh, fill out the application and get their kids some health insurance. And it's done. And it's done. All right. Well, hopefully we can. Plain uh, and simple. Yeah. Hopefully we can get that done. I want you to come back and talk to us about that. Uh, also, consumer bill involving fur versus fur. Yeah, this is another one. It's kind of incredible. People don't believe this is really happening. Um, very, very quickly. Sure. Uh, there's a lot of fake fur on the market that's very popular. That's actually made from dogs and cats, often from China and other countries. Um, it escapes a, li a loophole in the federal law that requires good labeling if it's worth less than $150, and obviously dog and cat fur is. Big story in the Washington Post about this week. Um, we're hoping to close that loophole so that women can buy some fake fur in Maryland without knowing it's made out of a, a dog from China, potentially. Yeah, you'd, you'd really like to know that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you Everybody I've talked to wants to know. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in and talking Thanks for us. having me, Tony. Oh, my pleasure. That is Tom Tuck Hucker, that is, who is delegate from District 20. And if you know a newsmaker, please tell us all about them at CN8.TV. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Till next time, I'm Tony Hill.